Boo. I'm here, hello. Can we just listen to this for two hours? Be pretty snazzy, huh? Yes. Okay. Okay, we're we're just gonna sit in the forest together. Um thank you for joining my forest stream. That would be pretty nice. Love these sounds. Yeah, dude. Let me actually turn my mic up a tiny bit. Testing, testing. Testing. Boop. Okay, I don't want to hit the road. 73 sounds about... Boop. Okay, 73 seems good. Sorry for booping you guys so much. As I said last stream, <laughs> two hours ago, um, we're at 70 bucks for our, pro our uh, Project Hope charity for this month, which is fantastic. Um, everyone's here. Hi, Brooke. Hi, Jazz. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Cass. Let's see. All right, it's all good. Yeah, it do be good. All right, I think we're good. What an eventful day. Tomorrow is also going to be... Maybe I'll work on stuff tomorrow, too. Because it's going to be raining all day. And I won't be able to go outside. So what else am I going to do? Make content. That's what I'm going to do. Although I, I feel like... I'm feeling the fact that I literally have not been able to go outside. I hate it. All right. Put that away. Full screen. Will it pick it up? It will. Cool. Is it was there no sound in the intro? I think there wasn't any. There we go. All right. Let's continue. I think that's... I posted what? I don't post on Twitter and Discord, yeah. So, this is the same thing we saw last time. So I'm not going to dilly-dally around. Can I skip? No. Cannot skip. Help. The audio sound okay? Like com me compared to the uh, game? Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Great. Good. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is 10 years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. 
So I'm guessing this is Michael. Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. What's that? Um, oh, Michael is I think we only made this too. decision last we time. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh, okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold, and you guys can move on. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah. There's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide first. I'm not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. I see B. Finally awake, huh? Alright, and last time we looked at this. Can't believe, can't believe it. You didn't laugh. That yeah. Hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Boo! Jesus! How do you always get me? <laughs> I'm sneaky like that. Ooh. Um. Well, you didn't really miss much. This is. Same stuff we did before, just like I mean, we've already done everything we did before, so now it's just time to go inside, I guess. I oh, know we we looked at this too. I want to have the crispy tocino and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. And I literally turn my light off and it's like back on. <laughs> she still make those as a mind of its own. Called fried banana rolls. Tehran? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Gospel concert. Should we go inside or stand around until we become human? Whoa, what is that? Extreme bubblegum. No, ex extreme. Extreme bubblegum. That's my favorite kind. Tessa's still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. 
Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of babinka and the Hail Marys start flowing. Bible study with Father Bautista. Be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us. I'm going to experience a living world. I really hope they get enough signatures on this. On what? They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's going to totally screw up salmon mm. migration. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go shopping. Buddy. Crazy that they haven't caught him yet. Mail theft. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, what's in here? Nothing. Yo, what up? Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less, we've been working out at the old house, but surprise, surprise, after 10 years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things, hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. Yeah, I had a shotgun pointed at me the minute I got there. Complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Lady, we okay. needed you. So we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. Let's Did see. Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Old fishermen aren't gonna share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. Uh, why isn't it let me look? That's a cool no map. Way. The Trout King is still here. The Trout King. Ugh. Yo. Hey, Tyler. Remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a Trout Derby. It was a 12-pounder. Yep, that's the Trout King. All right. Uh, right. Let's see. What do we need again? There's our buddy. Inventory, huh? Uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? Yeah, I'd be done already, but I'm Whoa. letting Tyler browse and take it all in. Okay. Must be weird for him to be back here. Yeah, I don't know. But today's been crazy. Define crazy. That's kind of cute looking, actually, yeah. We, uh... We found some stuff in Marianne's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? I do, but not here. And I think it also might not be my story to tell. But maybe all of us can hang out later and you can get the whole messy story. All right. Well, I'll be here if you need me. What a nice buddy. Auto spray hey, paint. Should we get like 50 cans of peaches just in case the apocalypse hits tonight? If the apocalypse hits while we're in that drafty old house, we're screwed. Let's see. We've got butterflies, a lady's choice, oil, deluxe, new baby dry. Oh, cleaning products. You think we should get the organic one or the industrial strength planet killer? Uh, organic, I guess. 
Organic. We might have to scrub a little harder, but I'd never be able to look those beavers in the eye again if we use those chemicals. Organic one it is. So, uh, what kind of lure would you use for a steelhead? Well, it's hard to beat little Cleo's. Yeah, let's check it out. Just Wait. Is peanut this a butter? Quiz? <laughs> hey, I had to be sure. Manager special. You think I'm like cat? Sharp cheddar, me? spray oh, cheese. That sounds good. Butter. Butter. Hmm. No. No, I cannot. We're going shopping tonight, folks. Got some shrimp. So, They're in a really weird bag. What? Or a chips girl. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing candy. Fuck yeah. Oh man, I haven't had a candy bar in forever. Candy was currency of fireweed, like ramen in state prison. A little ice well, cream pops. You won't need to trade any shifts for these. The tiny as fuck. Strawberries in November. Healthy meals is. <laughs> no. Garfunkel's frozen tuna. Hmm. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish oh, I, good. I don't want grape soda. OJ sound good to you? Yep. Ah, oh, man. Marianne used to sample everything from the bulk bins. Tessa hated it. Oh, uh, cool cola, orange aid, sprout. Oh, my, <laughs> my favorite. I love sprout. It's worth it. Michael oh. refuses to serve his pancakes with anything else, and they're the best part of waking up. Don't forget the milk, Ted. Uh. Excuse me. Is someone here to clip this? I'm being I'm being observed. Oh, there's a passable cooking school there. I'm gonna be a chef. Oh, you gonna open up your own restaurant? Oh, slow down, Tiger. Maybe someday, but in the meantime, I'll be. Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard that. I may have a little less going on in the hair department, but you should see the rest of Delos High. I have been received. Fair enough. Eggs and toast. I've been studying up on diner lingo. <laughs> Clearly. Got some cabbage. Man, I wish we had a toaster. We could stock up on frozen waffles. Is this like soap? It looks soapy. What's this? Oh, is this the syrup? Michael, yeah, it is. You want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? It has some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes. Ooh, busted. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic a reading of candles. a fancy ass cookbook? Nope. nope. Just browsing these fancy ass candles. Did we need candles? Scented light candles. Glacier scented. Let's get the blue one. What's that like? I can't see what, what flavor or what. What flavor is that candle? I don't know. I'm gonna eat it now. Plain candles are fine. Oh no! I don't want plain. Okay. I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Stripes. Sour. What? Sour something. Chocolate snacks. Zick crisps. Clay's chips. Ya nuts. There's ya. Excuse me. Who left ya nuts down here? Someone left you nuts. All right, I'm done joking. Choco's Choco cracks. <laughs> Pure soup, nothing but. Kind of. Uh, let's see. Yo, they got colored pasta. Italian flavored, and then yeah, they're both Italian. Mashed potatoes. Very happy mashed potatoes. All right. I love the generic brands. Yeah, the, that's the best, dude. Edwin's. 
Popsy Crunch Popsy Crunchers cr Crunch Crunchers. New bread. Okay. Yo, do we just miss this giant pumpkin? How much does this cost? Biggest pumpkin contest winner. Yeah, no fucking shit. What's Are you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that, friend. I highly doubt it. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Uh-oh. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. What happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. No, lady. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best you're you're being you. so... What the hell was that? Mm. I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel it too. Something's on the tip of my tongue. Let's look at these real quick. Mega Master Burger. What's in that? Three ninety nine is the price for regular menu. Picture shows the Yada Burger. Delo Stolchitz Live free concert. Bible study. Jawbreakers. Rodolfo in La Bohime. 21 to 31 years old, male, athletic, graceful, and spirited, all backgrounds. Singing ability a must. Yo, there's a cat with roller skates over there. Who put that there? What does that mean? I want to know about this burger. But I guess we're not gonna. The who now? I don't know how to say those words. Boem. Boem. I'm gonna write you a boem. Thank you for the clarification. Motu we Bohem. Did you finish Shape of Yesterday yet? Oh, almost. <laughs> Sorry, I'll give it back next week. Lady, that oh, small talk's not gonna get you I fucking was just anywhere. Wondering if you were enjoying it. The teen pregnancy plotline was a choice, but her descriptions are nice. 
Mm, she has such a way with words. Can I help you, Allison? I'm oh, looking through uh, my no, shit. No, thanks. I'm good. Yo! I'm just looking for something. Is that, that snarky? I think I gotta tab out and put this, this on here? the pious pelican. Hold on, I gotta tab out now. Let me, let me get on Twitter quick. Where is she at? Oh, that, that comes out really shitty. Let me actually, uh, crop. Can I, can I crop? How do I crop? Why it not let me do? Oh my god, it's so bad trying to crop on this. Clip that. Yeah, clip it. Alright. Posted. We must continue. Man, Tessa keeps track of everything. Two thousand and four. Like what? Any loans she's given out, the stuff she lets regulars take for free, even her tithes. And then what? She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. Uh, I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. Mm -hmm. Damn. Are you done looking through my stuff now? Tell me the good deeds. I know, I know you know. Is there something I can do for you? All right, I've done good cop. And now it's time for bad cop. So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes, what a lucky coincidence. <laughs> we don't have any options here. No, just picking up some things for the house. <laughs> oh, okay. Does your brother need any? Lady, products? we got the receipts. Products? We've got some on sale. I think he's got everything. But uh thanks. Good, good. <laughs> well, you let me know if we're running low on anything you need. Now we're just no, we're screwed. Never mind. Ain't nothing. <sighs> Gonna have to like bug. Is there something in here that we could do? That we're still... Yes. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? What's your excuse this time? Yeah, lady. Emergency repairs for the beaver dam. Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I wow. To you now, or do I need to start calling in your debts? Oh. <laughs> huh. What? I'd completely forgotten about that. This lady. It, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version. Okay. What? Two different versions. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. The, oh, oh, all right, Mary thank Ann. you, bro. Can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Why do we remember differently like that? We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got I want to talk to you Which is it now. Going to be? Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Oh, I don't like this. Tessa was. She went all Jack Thompson on her. Now we need to pick. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? I mean, she seems sus, no? Right? I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? I she was angry? Okay, alright. 
do I need to start calling in your debts? The Lord disciplines those he loves. You're failing these kids, Marianne. Ooh. Judge me all you want, but don't spew that hate around my children. You hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm <laughs> guiding hand, and you, my god, you actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes, you might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine. Let's go to your office. Uh -oh. I'll be right back, kids. Sparring Stand match. Inside, okay? What is wrong with you? I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear over the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. All right, you guys, you guys ready to find out the secrets? Brooke, you have that, you have the book ready, right? All right. What about? Is there something I can do for you? I'm the angry lady now. Earlier, you said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. A <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Let us see. Give me like two seconds here, guys. Okay, I'm back. All right, let's see. We should go talk to Tom, right? See if he remembers the song. Tommy boy. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with. Let's let's talk nice first. How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. But don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? 
Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not bad. What do they think up next, huh? <laughs> What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. Sure. Tell us about the song first. This might be a weird question, but... Slap in my knee. Do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time? <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, no, I wait, I don't remember. I got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. Is it right? I think so. <laughs> Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Oh shit. Should we check this one out? Oh, should we check them all, should we? Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing! <laughs> oh yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I mean, I'd be embarrassed too. <laughs> yeah, I know. Kids keep pestering me for these candies. They're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh no, I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it <gasps> down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. I bet you this lady and I'll be by on Wednesday to owes like this. hundreds of dollars in candy. Tessa acted like she was married. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should go find that notebook she was holding. Pretty sure I saw one marked 2004 in the office closet earlier. Anything else? What are you doing here? You needed help with storm. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Oh, yeah. I said I'm fine. Okay, She's come fine. on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. Is that the book? It was Tessa gave to Marianne. I don't know. I saw it in Marianne's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Oh. Like maybe conversion therapy bad. Was there a pamphlet? I don't. Whoa. This is true. I want to know how Marianne felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. <laughs> Your day off and you spend it in the office? <laughs> yeah. I guess I, I missed you guys. <sighs> I feel like that was something I'm pretty sure I complained that that we missed something like I picked up something too early and then we couldn't get back in to look at other stuff. I feel like we might have missed whatever pamphlet uh, they're Tessa? talking about. Is it OK if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. All right. The elephant in the room. I know y'all don't. 
So this is Barb Mayfield at dmail.com. I know y'all don't want to have this conversation, but Lisa has flaked on rehearsals again. She hasn't shown up in weeks. I know we were all moved beyond words by her performance of Danny Boy at Carl's funeral, but what good is a beautiful voice if you can't show up on time every week like everybody else? I think we should start planning the winter gala without her. Thoughts? Barb, seize the day. Robin Williams. All right, that's enough voices for me today. Thank you. Hey, Tessie, uh, I just got back from my wor work. <laughs> Workation? And found the girls in bed sleeping like happy logs. Adrian said they were riding high when he picked them up from your place today. And apparently you got them both to eat. Kare kare? Is that what I'm thinking it is? Stew? Ooh, what is that? Oh, did I eat this before? Uh, um, June, Mary, are you here? It's, it's a, it's a Filipino stew, beef tripe, or is, is, is the stew the, curry curry is a Filipino stew curry complemented with a thick, savory peanut sauce. Main ingredients, oxtail, peanut sauce, and vegetables. That sounds good. I feel like I had something close to that before when I went to that one Filipino place. That sounds really good, though. I know oxtail is really popular. I haven't had to. I haven't had to eat. Haven't gotten to eat it yet. Can't talk for shit. Uh, I just got back from my workation. Blah blah blah. Please let me know what saint you prayed on, prayed to pull that off. Lol. All morning, they've been going on and on about their camping trip with Auntie Tessa and all the s'mores that they ate and the bugs they caught. I can't remember the last time they were both this happy at the same time. Usually, it's one happy and the other is crying. My family loves oxtail. Yeah, I've been meaning to go somewhere that has it. That, But the the one place that would be closest to me is always closed Mondays, and Mondays are my like usual day that I ha have to myself to go do stuff. So, like, I, I haven't been able to. I know you're busy with the store and getting ready to be first lady, so thanks for making time for them. I'm so sorry about the last minute drop off. You know how work has been. The girls say we love you, Auntie Tessa. P.S. You and Tom should come for dinner sometime. Adrian's been dying to show him the new media room, which will keep them busy while we drink wine in the kitchen. Your favorite little sister. Sorry, your favorite little sister, Notorious Nick. Sarmit Sarmation. Garlic peeler kitchen tool has been shipped. Click for more info. I want to click. Give me a virus. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Oh. Wait, what? Uh oh. Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I already see it. I don't, know what to say. I don't like Sorry, it. Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Alliance for Traditional Families November Newsletter. Watch Dr. Whitmore's talk, Articulating God's Design for Sexuality. Ten Powerful Christian Quotes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. Ten Powerful Christian Quotes that will save your li change your life. It's just, you know. A Parent's Guide to Preventing Same-Sex Attraction. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp, now in its 20th year. Admissions for 2015 open. Yeah, no, the the, the third one kind of stood stood right out. It was in all caps to begin with. Urgent, don't miss out on this opportunity. What if I told you the government owed you up to $10,000 cash to go to school? This is not a loan. You won't have to pay back. This is not a scam. Take this seriously. Click below and take the two-minute questionnaire and claim your money. Click here to let us know if you prefer check or direct deposit. Did my picture not post on the tweet? I don't think it did. 
I don't see it. All right, lady. Give us the deets. Is there something I can do for you? Hold on. You sure we've seen everything? I guess. Oh, the 2004 book. No, maybe not. Yeah, let's make sure we've been thorough. She's just like, oh, yeah, that's right. Can All I right. help you, Allison? No, we're looking no, again. No, no, thanks. I'm good. Yeah, I'm yeah. Just looking for something that I. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? Elijah, June, $24 for meal at the restaurant, paid off. September, $11 doll for the kid. Eric B, February, $50. March, paid off. February's debt. September, $20 for gas, paid in full. Oh, here we go. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. April, $50 for gas paid off. May, $37 groceries. $30 new jacket for Allison paid off. Helped at the store. June, $21 for medicine paid off. August, $40 for groceries paid off. Helped during rush inventory. October, $140 for washing machine repairs. No show. November, $55 new shoes for kids. Check bounced. November, no show. Not returning calls. January, no show. I can't fault the lady. Let's go talk to Tessa. I can't fault the lady for, like, keeping such close track about everything because, like, money is important. But, like... I don't know. I mean, what is she running the uh, like Alaskan mafia? Is there something I can do for you? We're back with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. We were buying groceries, and then you you stormed in, threatening to call in debts and demanding that Marianne talk to you. It turned into an argument. So you guys went into the office and blasted that song you used to dance to all the time. Call in debts. I never. Like I'm some kind of lone shark. When did this supposedly occur? Well, our memories don't exactly have time stamps. <laughs> I can't be expected to take these accusations seriously if you can't even recall basic details. It was October, wasn't it? October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why she always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. You were mad she bailed on you. You told her about the camp. She said she was failing us. You I mean, said that's she was what we heard. Failing us and called her a bad parent. Was she done being judged by you? Was that it? I really have no idea what you're talking about, and I was never cruel to Marianne. I did everything I could to help her, to help you all. Even when she fought me, even when she screamed and spit in my face for the effort, even when she, even when she didn't deserve it. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Calm down. Look. We know you took care of us, and we're grateful. But I really need you to answer one question. When you two fought, was it ever about me? It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with everything at the end. Did you try to convince Marianne to send Tyler to some kind of program? No, and I think you should go now. Tessa, I'm here to figure out if Marianne tried to kill me because of who I am. Do you get that? I do. I just... Then why won't you give us a straight answer? I... I truly don't know what went on in her mind that day. And it will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. Yeah, now I agree. I understand that this is an emotional topic for you both. And fortunately for you, I keep forgiveness at the heart of my relationships. You're so fucking righteous. Why did you dump Marianne when she was at her worst? I will not be dragged back into this. 
You need to go. Now. Can we have our groceries? Uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Cool. Bye, Tom. What are you yeah. thinking? Just yeah, trying yeah, to wrap yeah, my yeah, brain yeah. around all that. Not good. You know, we might have actually gotten to the truth if you hadn't lashed out at her. Are you serious right now? You were on her case the whole time. Don't turn this on me. It's obvious she's guilty of something, and that's why she doesn't want to talk about it. Oh, that sanctimonious bitch! Ooh. Done now? You get all that out of your system? <sighs> Sorry, I got so worked up. It just makes me crazy that she would play dumb like that. She knows how important this is to us, to you. Yeah, but you know, you're onto something with the guilt. She didn't want to admit what they thought about, which makes me think it was me. You spooked her with that talk about the program. I think Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. You may be right. Yeah. She stood up for me, Allison. She was still crazy Marianne, but she saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last 10 years and now it's gone. I... I'm really happy for you. But... That just opens a whole new box of Pandora's, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, a whole damn shipping crate full. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Oh boy. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. What a hero. Anyway, he's probably in his office upstairs. Yo, look at this dude. Yo, hey buddy. Damn, they still got this creepy mascot, huh? I am the law. What? Officer Justin Beaver is <laughs> not creepy. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving officer. No. Oh, why? Hold on, I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Have fun. Meet me in the open space when you're done. Tell me they're not believers. What what is what does that mean, Cass? I don't know what that acronym means actually. I've I've seen it a few times, not very often, but Join the team. Oh, should I decide the wild world of accounting isn't for me? Uh can't really picture you in the Really? I think I could pull it off. Oh, interesting. Thank you. Want to see 
Oh, this is just asking for some problems. Let us take you for a ride. Want to see what a police officer does on the job? Register for the ride along program. For more info, ask for Chief Brown. Thank you, CB. I know. I know I am. Oh, the private room. What are we reading? Private. Yeah, that really helps. Home sweet home. Mm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. Okay, it's private's probably close too. Mm. Locked. Alaska. Mm. Eddie must have locked it already. What? Claire Brown went missing. Mm. What do you know? Still locked. <laughs> Man. They are never going to catch this guy. Mailbox bandit investigation. Firm locations. <laughs> I love this. This is the part in a horror movie where you'd have to get out quickly. Um, you're, you guys... Some of you guys might enjoy October. I'm going to try and play spooky game. Games. I don't know what, what kind of spook we'll play, but I'm going to try. At least on days when I can stream not in the middle of the night. Yeah. On October 27th, 2015, approximately 1,003 hours, Officer Greggs and myself were dispatched at 239 Woodlawn Road. Oh, thanks, CB. To respond to, to a report of theft, we arrived at approximately 10.22 hours and spoke with owner Lawrence Cooper. Cooper reported that his mailbox had been broken into. Cooper stated, Hey, it takes you two days... Wait, he's 67. Uh, no, he doesn't sound that old. I checked it two days ago because I'm waiting on my new phone. They made me pay extra for shipping to get it here on time, but I said I ain't having that shit. I'm going to pay what I owe and not a dime more. They backed down and said it would be here Tuesday, but this morning the lock was smashed to shit, and there wasn't nothing in there. Probably that punk-ass Toe Down. Toe Down? No, Toe Down is a street alias for Jervis A. Sallow, known to myself and other Gregs. Off <laughs> other Gregs. <laughs> Officer Gregs. And formerly number 128882. Last known address, Almeida Plaza Apartments. The mailbox bandit, huh? Make sure you're drinking some water if you haven't in a bit, because I haven't. Cooper also stated he had been home all night prior to the incident and heard nothing unusual. Cooper went on to state, when I find Toe Down, I'm going to stuff his ass up his own ass. <laughs> Cooper was cautioned against making criminal threats. Yeah, for shoving his ass up his ass. God damn. Cooper then stated his willingness to prosecute Sallow and was directed to seek charges with the prosecutor's office. Dear Chief Brown and staff, This letter is to inquire about the mailbox bandit. It has been nine days and I still haven't had any mail. My granddaughter Madison is on her honeymoon at Great House Resort in Jamaica. Ricky does computer work. She said she would write and you know Madison keeps her word. I have called every day for nine days and every time Rose makes some kind of excuse. If this is because they didn't write the recommendation for her son, tell her that has nothing to do with doing her job. Stealing my mail may not seem like much to you, but getting away with crime makes a criminal more bold. How soon before you are after the mailbox killer? You shove the whole, like, fucking mailbox up someone's ass. I remind you, we donate to the Policeman's Fund every year, and it isn't easy for us, but we do it because we believe in law enforcement, unlike some others. But if this is the type of service we can expect, perhaps the firefighters could use our support. Just had a strawberry daiquiri. At least it's liquid. Eh. 
I, I think more more people will... Hello, all. How are you? We were just talking about Kare Kare. If that's how you say it. Yeah! That thing. I was like, I was going to where's June? Mary, help! And, and you're just like, mm -hmm. not here. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. <laughs> That's fine, I googled it. Um, there was a, a note that we read about, um, or an email we read about one of the ladies in the story treating kids to that. And the lady was like, how'd you get them to try this? Well, it, 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 it's, I mean, I assumed it was Japanese food. So I would say it like I would say, like, uh, karaage. Uh, I'm getting another headache, so I'm going to try to sleep. Hope the rest of the stream goes well. Good night. Oh, good night, CB. I hope you feel better. I'm, f I'm feeling you, though. Today's one of those days. Rest up. And let us know if you're feeling better when you get up. To all, Kevin Sutton, Brown Brown, Dean Becker. Oh no, is Brooke going too? Okay, no. All right, Dad just got confused. Okay. Patient transfer. <laughs> yeah. To all Dell's Crossing Police Department officers, please be advised that due to overcrowding issues, these two patients will be transferred to the... Okay. Oh, Gregs. Just leaving this out on display again. Gregs? Like Officer Gregs? The one who was with us that night? Yeah, Daddy? he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. <laughs> the guy was hiding Oof. out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. Oh no, I'm hiccuping. Help. Where's the memory? What's that? <gasps> you remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? Check out that whale. Yo. I made one of these oh things. Oh my god, that's the cutest. It's cute, but don't tell me he's got baby fever. Ew, no. Da Daddy do? I always jump to that. All right, so where's this memory that I'm not seeing? Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Oh. Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. Ugh. I'm not ready. Me neither. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? My pupper. Yep. He uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Ooh. Damn. Poor D. Hmm. What can I write? Leave a note. Hopefully this doesn't. Oh, whoops. Out. Hi, Denise. Thanks for helping replace my tires. <laughs> Disgusting tire man. Okay. Oh no! It was her birthday. I completely forgot. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. 
<laughs> oh man, what's that? What's the movie about the Iditarod? I watched it when I was a kid. wonder if this is the next place we need to go. Oh. Something's in the way. Oh. Push it. Uh, oh. Bookshelf. Okay. Something's in the way. Tyler, you coming? No. Armory. Ooh, getting some gun. Compared to how the police station looks from the outside, this looks really nice inside. Well, it's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah. You think we could find some files about Marianne in the archives? We probably shouldn't. I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. Maybe Eddie would show us her file? I don't think we could get an Allison, analysis. hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yeah, it might have been Balto. Call. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? That sounds familiar. Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. Oh. Camera move for me. Alright, so since see Iron Will too, but wasn't that a cartoon? I don't know. Those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. Hey, did Brown just flat out install me? Um, I didn't notice. But I mean, he's probably feeling awkward since, you know, you didn't take his gift. Great. He's making it weird. All right, now that that's open, is there anything out here? Oh. Where are we going? down in here and I'm gonna ask you a few questions okay <clears throat> okay so anything else is it is this a, the same one or a different one where are we going what the hell I'm just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. Or was I supposed to follow this? You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would. Okay. Too. Probably the break room here, right? Okay, let's go in. So we're gonna, since CB's gone, we're gonna have to figure out for um, October spooky stuff. Figure out what kind of games we gotta play. We could do Resident Evil. Hmm. Yep, oh. it's locked. Something's buzzing. Didn't Tessa buzz Dawn for smoking weed behind the store once? Yep. But hey, is this Crazy D's locker? 
Hey, she's Delos Crossing's best cop. Other than Eddie, of course. My bad. I wonder what Delos Crossing's best cop stashes in her locker. Maybe she keeps a spare key somewhere? What's on your mind? Just thinking about how we slept in that corner over there. Yeah, on that paper-thin mattress from the cell. It could have been a pillow top and I wouldn't have slept a wink. I don't know how you come here every week. I've been here 10 minutes and it's already fucking me up. Hmm. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to say if I if I would want to do. I stop thinking about this because, like, you don't. It's not. It's not easy to drop trauma, especially something like this. I mean that that could just be a very much like uh like trying to be dismissive. It never really stopped hurting. Hey. Do you have any reoccurring nightmares about that night? Yeah. Why? Well, remember that nice lady from social services who picked us up? Oh, what was her name? Uh, Sandy, I think? Yeah. I used to dream about her a lot. Um, sorry, what? Yeah. It would always start out pretty normal, like maybe sitting in the living room with Marianne doing a sewing lesson and then suddenly she would turn into Sandy and she would hold us in her arms, pulling us in tighter and tighter until I would wake up practically choking. Jesus. Mm, that doesn't sound fun. No, so sorry. are things gonna be weird at all between you and Eddie? Only if he makes it weird. Good, because he's more likely to tell us about Marianne if you don't antagonize him. Oh, so now we're not antagonizing people? I... Okay, yeah, that, that's fair. <laughs> Let's go? Yep. I really wonder if I could have done anything to, to get that, that buzzing. The, whatever the phone league standings arctic puppies mushers little helpers snow mees light and howl Ugh, light and howlins let this place get gross i'm no, not just that leave... hungry oh i thought that was like a rotisserie you chicken don't mind if i take one these are definitely the same cookies that were here last week but knock yourself out Ugh, i'm so hungry Ooh, days without bear sighting no 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 We here right now. Change that to zero. This is still warm. Bear alert. You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Memory hey, time. You okay? down Allison stick to the plan come on don't freak out on me now I can't please I can't lie we already lied it's all gonna be fine okay you okay honestly no do you ever regret no no way well Maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. What? What? Do you what did if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? What were they remembering? Or what were they? It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable. 
comfortable, he dropped a vase. I don't know. Here. Have a seat. All right. Damn it. No. Sorry. I hope we find out, because that's going to bother the fuck out of me. They glued it back together. Who this boy? Have you been hiding back here all this time? Little goblin? The Ice King. Oh man, we found the Ice King, dude. So we got that. We gotta check this. Please sheet Brown Axe Council to reconsider budget. Doc strike to begin this week. Candidate Tom Vecchi supports gun control money for local schools. Do we got a new one in here? What do we remember next? Hey, oh. sorry that took so long. Maybe nothing. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Uh, hey, you remember this guy? Of course. Tyler Ronan. The prodigal son returns. Yep. Oof. Look at you. I didn't even recognize you at first. I heard that a lot today, Chief Brown. Chief Brown. No need for that kind of formality, not with family. Uh huh. How you finding Delos Crossing? Change much? Uh, same dump, different year. <laughs> well, we're no Juno, but lots of folks feel at home here. It's gotta be good to be back with your sister, huh? Yeah, it's been a long time coming. <sighs> Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marion's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. Same answer as Tessa. Tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Huh. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for... weeks. Maybe a month before. Why well, doesn't really fucking, like... Uh. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you going to help us? 
Or are you going to be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. Let's move on. She's never going to tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Uh... Yeah, this isn't an easy one. It sucks because, like... Man, fuck, dude. Um... So the, so the guy doesn't seem this isn't like a Tessa 2.0, you know? Like I I understand what no matter what he did for anybody, this is one of those damned if you do damned if you don't kind of things. And I I can't imagine any sort of case involving self defense was the final call Ali would have been seeing her brother right. That's true. So yeah, it's it is very obvious that you know it ended up being an issue of they were they didn't feel like it was it was a safe thing to do because they they probably never um, I guess if we would see the case file then maybe it would tell us whether or not it, if if you know it, the likelihood of it not being self defense or not being listed as self defense is is pretty high. Um, so I would say, I mean, I, I do think there's a bit of a bit of truth in both of these here, because realistically, regardless of how much he might have fought, if he did, I mean, there's there's more than just him. That's uh, that would be making this the decisions, right? I mean, like, I don't know how cases get handled, but like, I don't think one single police chief alone is going to be the one that says, hey, you know, I feel this is self-defense, so so is so is everybody else, and so is the court, and, and this and that. Oh. Um, I don't think being kept, kept, I think being kept apart was wrong, though. I think I feel that one more. Did they run a psych test on young Tyler? If he was disturbed, keeping Allie away would have been the right choice, but again, self-defense doesn't mean crazy killer. Exactly, yeah. There's, it, it's a stretch. I, I'm going to have to say being kept apart was wrong. Look, Uncle, separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, Little Moose. Little Moose! It was hard oh. to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up, and we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? No. Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're going to stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You want to grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't want to send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. OK, let's go.
Yo, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, what is that? I mean, still, I should be, but... Please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No. Please. Please. Mom. Mom, please. No, don't do this. Oh shit, what? Someone just drops a donation. <laughs> right in the stabbing, what are you doing? What the fuck? And brothers and sisters. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Wow. You scratch my back, I stab yours, I guess, huh? That's fucked, man. Wow, dude. I didn't expect that. So that was like the second chapter, first chapter? Don't worry, it's not the ending. There's more. Wow, though. Like, wow, what? Yeah, no, it's it's like cut up into parts. Tiltify quick so we can see and I can thank our lovely donator. But we hit our first milestone, uh, in any case. Brooklyn! Thank you, Brooke. All right. Thank you for getting us to milestone number one. And that is your ticket in for the prize. Whatever it is. Man. Can we skip? Oh, okay. So here's our results. <laughs> Why did your voice change like that? I don't know. What are you talking about? There's nothing wrong with it. All right. Tyler and Allison. Allison was disappointed that Tyler didn't accept Eddie's peace ring offer. 74% accepted the ring. 15% refused the ring. 11% threw it in the water. We were... 
the 15 percent all right now who's making me go back here who's that next thank you very much let me see cassie thank you thank you boss don't worry if you win i can't guess it'll just be hand delivered <laughs> Uh, I think, did you have a, this is the first one for this month. Okay, right. Yep. I got you on the list then. Allison was delighted to solve the princess's riddle with her brother. The boss applesauce. Apple boss. Hey, Dino, can I get some apple boss? Uh, Allison was delighted to solve the princess's riddle with her brother. 82% solved the door puzzle. 18% busted open the door puzzle. Tyler felt unrecognized by Alice's lack of trust at the store. Ooh, 50-50 split. We were in the 48. I mean, not 50-50, but you know. All right. Tyler was reassured of his bond to Allison when she sided with him at the station. 69% sided with Tyler. 31% sided with Eddie. Sam Kansky. Tyler earned Sam's respect. 55% called out Sam, which we did. 45% didn't call out Sam. Oh, no! Oh, we, oh, we fucked up. Tessa shut out the twins about Marianne. 48% learned the truth. 24% didn't get an answer. 28% <laughs> aka us antagonized Tessa. Oh, no. All right. Our, our, uh, Quick wits were not so quick. Eddie felt rejected by Allison when she didn't side with him at the station. 31% sided with Eddie, 69% sided with Tyler. I think we'll watch whatever comes up here and then we'll be done for the night. We'll have a little talk. He's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait. You're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. Oh. We value your opinion. Did you like this chapter? Yeah, dude, that was good. So let me see what continue takes us to. Um, if it goes to the next one or not. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. Was this the beginning? The crafty goblins did everything together. Until one day. No. When darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. Uh oh, nightmare time. <laughs> Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Oh, man. Without a word, 
She went out and buried that spooky sound every time it changes, man. Sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wan woman. And that was how the princess lost her What's that mean? precious treasure and her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. Oh, a witch? Okay. I saw that brief lag. I'm watching just in case it keeps happening. What a waste. Sorceress. Interesting. Yo! Slurp. Allison! Oh. Allison, help! Oh, shit. Here it is. Mint chocolate! No! I wonder if, I wonder if the whole, like, you know, they, they both remember things differently. I wonder if this is from her perspective now instead. Or if this is just like how they decided to retell it. Actually having like a, re a reunion party here. <laughs> home, I think this is framed very well, though, and the music is. I really like this song.
Hey. You doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead we spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Yeah, it is. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Hmm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do Chocolate this. chip, two gallons. <laughs> Goblin face is keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell. And trash can as well. Trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning. Superior taste. How very generous of you. Lactose sensitive. Yeah. I just want to listen to the music here. And we can just look at how pretty it is outside. For like 30 seconds. And then we're going to be done for the night. Some pretty looking mountains there. Now I want ice cream. All right, Uber Eats, DoorDash, whatever. Sand, it's too late for that. Cottage Corp. <laughs> yeah. Damn. All right, that was fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll shut our, our game faces. Okay, and whoosh. It was good. Yeah, that was that was another good one. I like that a lot. That was very comfy. Um, yeah, so that was really good. Um, let's get music up here and Twitter and see that assumedly post that didn't go. Or did it? No, it never did. What the fuck? Oh, it did. Weird. <laughs> this is actually my great great grandmother. Thank you for finding the last memento of her to ever exist. No, oh, that's good. All right, where's my music at? Um. Oh, there's a new. Okay, good. All right. Roundup. We got up to one twenty today in donations. So we have, thanks to you fine folk, passed our first milestone, and we're a good way into our next. Um, I'll take some time this week to think of what's what's going to be in the box. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, um, what I'm thinking is tomorrow uh, we will do, yeah, yeah, awesome job. Pat yourself on the back. Because I, I'm too far away to do that for you guys. So, um, Tomorrow, around dinner time-ish, I'll probably pop on for another Muse Dash stream or something. Just a short one. Then I'll get dinner. Uh, and then I will be doing... Oh, let's, oh there we go. Let me go back to... There we go. And then we will be doing Minecraft Monday on Monday. Starring Brandy. Just the way it should be. Um, we can continue going through the nether and, and figuring out more things and all that such. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go chill. Maybe do some stuff. Maybe put out more more stuff like I've been today. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I want to get up, stretch my legs a little bit, and breathe. So thanks for watching, guys. 
Uh, I hope you all sleep good. Love you all very much. And I hope you have a fantastic night. Had a good weekend. And you have a good start to the week. Thank you, hearts. Bye.